Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a special get ready with me. This is going to be a Hooters girl get ready with me. And I'm going to be showing you guys basically my everyday makeup routine for work. I've been working at Hooters since 2013. And in a few months, it's going to be five years of me working there. And I love my job. I have gotten so many cool opportunities. I've been promoted a bunch of times. I've even been featured in the 2018 calendar, which is really exciting. And if you guys want to know what month I'm in, you gotta go buy the calendar. It's on sale right now, $13.99. But yeah, I get questions all the time from girls from everywhere, like DMing me, asking me about advice and tips on what they should do, what should, they should wear, and how they should do their makeup for an interview, or if they got hired, like how they should prepare themselves for their first shift. So I figured why not make a video explaining how I do my makeup routine. Everybody has their own makeup routine, everybody has their own look, but this is just what works for me, and I get compliments all the time, and. My manager told me this is the standard of what we want to see. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do what I do. And I'm pretty legit, okay? I even have my face on a cup, right? Where's my face? Right there. You know, I have people make me things all the time too. Like, one of my very good regulars, what's up, Dennis? Shout out to you, Dennis. Made me a t-shirt with my face on it. My best friend and I, like, we take this thing pretty serious. This is gonna be a two part video. This first part is just gonna be my makeup routine, just showing you guys what I do to get ready for a normal shift at Hooters. And the second part is gonna go more in depth about my experience working there, friends that I've made, enemies that I've made, and just tips and advice for girls who wanna work at Hooters or girls who have been hired at Hooters and they don't know what to do next. So stay tuned for my glamorous, hooterific transformation. So I've already done my eyebrows just for the sake of time for this video. But the next thing I would do is moisturize my face with this tea tree oil. It, I have extremely dry skin, so this stuff keeps my face really moisturized and it makes my foundation go really smooth. The next thing I do is prime my face with Benefits Pore Professional. This stuff is so expensive, okay? You see my little bottle, $12 bottle for Sephora. But I'm just gonna use whatever I had left. I had to squeeze it out like toothpaste and just spread that across my face. Now for Hooters, I usually don't do like any eyeshadow or like heavy eyeliner just because I tend to go for the natural glam look. So I start off with my foundation. This is Becca Full Coverage. I love this stuff. Like I bought this bottle a while ago and it still lasts me. It's totally, and my, my color is tobacco. It's totally full coverage so I literally only need like two pumps and I just dab it on my face dab. and then I like to mix it with my NYX oh, liquid illuminator just to give me like a nice little glow Then I like to take a damp beauty blender and go over my foundation just to smooth it out a little more. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer, LA Girl Concealer in the color Almond. And I'm gonna put that right under my eyes. On the side of my nose. So I could have a Caucasian nose. Thank you. 
And for some extra highlight, I like to take my Fit Me Maybelline Concealer in the shade, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Deep Fonce, Fonce, Beyonce, okay, I guess. And this color is a little bit light for me, so I only take like two dots. Next thing I'm going to do is bake. A lot of people do their contour before they bake. I like to bake and then do my contour after I wipe it away, just because I like the way it looks on me, my personal preference. But baking is a really important. I'm using my Morphe setting powder in the color Banana. And it's especially important, especially when you're working in shift at Hooters because you're gonna be working for a few hours, you know? And it might be so busy that you don't really have time to touch up your makeup. So you just wanna make sure that you're not oily and cakey throughout the day. I'm gonna put that right under my eyes. And I only bake under my eyes. I don't do my chin and my forehead. I'm gonna be applying my favorite everyday lashes. These are the Wispies by Ardell in black. They don't have a number, but they're called Wispies. I know that Ardell has different types of Wispies. They have like the Demi Wispies and the double layer ones, but these are just the regular Wispies and they're my favorite because they blend so well and they look so natural that I don't even need to wear eyeliner with them. I just wear them and they look like falsies or they look like um, eyelash extensions. Now I'm gonna wipe away my setting powder. You wanna make sure you wipe very well because there's so many times where I think I wipe away all of the powder and then I take a picture and I have powder like all under my nose and I just look, you know. So you don't want that to happen. Sometimes I'll wipe it away and then I'll take a picture on my back camera with the flash just to see if I have any excess powder. If I knew where my phone was, I would totally do that right now, but I don't, so I won't. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face, contour, contour, contour my face with this Milani, no, I'm sorry, this is Black Radiant Contour Stick. It's a cream contour stick, and I love it. It's super cheap, it was like $6 at the drugstore, and I'm gonna just go right under I usually would like go my forehead, but since I'm wearing a wig, I'm not gonna really go that hard. And I go down to my jawline. And I'm gonna use that same foundation brush that I had earlier. And then just go ahead and blend it out. But I do have some excess, I'm just going to clean it up slightly with my LA Girl Concealer just to make my contour a little sharper. 
but I don't really like a crazy sharp contour. I like it to be a little more subtle. Next, I'm going to take my True Complexion Contour Palette. This is from Walgreens by Black Radiance, and it was $8. Can't go wrong with that. And first, I'm going to just take like a blush brush. This is in dark medium. This is in dark. So the color in the middle kind of matches my skin tone pretty well. So I'm just going to pick a little bit brush wipe off any excess and then do like an overall sweep Now for my nose contour, I do things backwards. I like to do my nose contour last just because I feel like that like sucks everything together. So I'm gonna use my Fit Me concealer just a little bit. I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose. Now Hooters does not tell you to do any of these extra steps. The only thing that they'll really say is to be photo shoot ready. Call it photo shoot ready. So how you would do your makeup for a photo shoot. We used to say first date ready. So when you have a first date with a hot guy or hot girl or whatever, you know, you want to look your best. And that's how they expect you to come to work. Looking your best and photo shoot ready because we always have people asking us for pictures and I there's been times where like I didn't do my makeup that great at work and then I find my picture on Instagram somewhere randomly or on like some random page and it's like wow I should have definitely did my makeup a little bit better because now my picture is everywhere I'm going to line my lips with this lip pencil. This is 99 cent. No, I believe this is a, yeah, 99 cents. This is by NK Makeup, and its color is coffee cocoa. Sorry, cocoa. My managers. All of my managers are male, so they don't really know that much about makeup. One thing that they do really know is lip gloss or lipstick because you can clearly see if you have lip gloss or lipstick on. I don't really know if they can tell if certain girls have foundation or anything else on, but they know lip gloss and lipstick. So they're like, where's your lip gloss? Where's your lipstick? Your lips aren't popping. They want to make sure that your lips are popping. So that's why I say I usually don't have time to put any other lipstick or anything on. No, sorry, I don't have time to put any other makeup on besides lipstick. So you could just pull it out of your pouch and you apply it any day. And I'm gonna go in with my tardiest lip paint in the color birthday suit. And I actually got this as a birthday gift from Sephora. I love this color. It's matte and it blends so creamy and beautifully. I love this lip combo, it's so sexy, simple, and it looks good on literally every skin color. Last but not least, I'm going to set my beautiful makeup with setting spray. This is the NYX Matte Finish Mini 
black mat, all that good stuff. And this is really important because you're gonna be running around all day, serving food, serving drinks, and you wanna make sure that your makeup stays on point, stays in place, you know? So this stuff is my best friend throughout my shift. You know, I don't really have to reapply anything. I just do my lipstick and that is that. And I would just like brush my hair out. My hair has to be down and styled. And the great thing about my store is that you can have braids. If you wanna do that as a protective style, you can have like beach waves, you can have natural curls, you can have an afro, as long as your hair is down and styled and not like, you just take a shower and throw some gel and scrunch it up, no like wet look, but I actually made this wig myself. It's my first wig, so I must say, I think I did a pretty, <laughs> pretty good job. This is a closure wig. The hair is by Golden Allure. And the closure is actually vanity box. And the hair is popping. I've had this hair for like a year now and it's still like super duper soft. Run my fingers through it. I've dyed this hair like three times already. And it still feels like brand new. So yeah, that is my Hooters Girl look. Get ready with me. Super duper simple. A little bit goes a long way. You don't wanna over paint your face because the whole point is to let your natural beauty show and enhance it. So thank you guys for tuning in. This is part one of my Hooters Girl Get Ready With Me. And this is just what I do every day for work. Next part of my video is going to go in depth about my experiences, how I like working there, misconceptions and things that I've had to deal with at work. A lot of people think you have to have huge boobs, you have to be a size zero. I'm gonna answer all those questions in my next video, which is going to be out on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment,